Hey, my name is Matthew Yakubu. I'm 22 years old from Nigeria, playing the top level, first division club in Slovakia, Sered. Actually, it has been a very complicated and long journey. Started playing football as a kid from the hood, you know, playing street football, going to school, play football at school, then going to join an academy called Pepsi Football Academy in Nigeria. It was great, though I started as a player playing at number nine. Suddenly there was a day, this day came up and uh, there was no goalkeeper in training, you know. So the coach asked who is going to keep and I went in the goal and I did well. Since then he kept putting me in the goal. I tried to change position many times but he refused, even at top level. Some of the competitions I try to play, I do good, you know, and uh, but it is what it is. I'm still keeping till date. People say I'm good with my feet, this and that, because I played before. That is possible I play. But I think I like goalkeeping because it gives me joy when I stop strikers from scoring, you know. So it's a lot of work from a kid and uh, I think now it's something I like doing and I like it most with everything. Coming from Africa is like, uh, how will I say? It's like the life is beating you one nil, you know, because life there is very difficult. And uh, sometimes some families, some football teams, you go to play without money, no encouragement. And I came from a family that support me because they like what I do. I go to school, also play football. They have put me in many jobs, but couldn't concentrate. Always go to play football. So my mom supported me. There are some family members that don't want it, but she said, if I would like to do it, then she will support me. So she gave me the support. I came to Europe and now I'm doing well, doing great. So I think coming from Africa, it's not easy for goalkeepers like us because most times you find just few goalkeepers in, Af in Europe, you know, from Africa. Because sometimes you have good goalkeepers here. They will look sometimes, why do they need to bring you? You have to be good. You have to be more than the person they are bringing in, or you have to be at least have some qualities, you know. So I think it's not really easy for any black goalkeeper I see in Europe. I respect him, irrespective of which club it is, lower of senior division. I give him the maximum respect he deserves because it's not really easy from there. Actually, I started from academy, just like I said. Went to, I didn't play the national team when I was in academy, you know. I went to, there was this game we played in a local community in Nigeria. So one man, one agent was there. He saw me, he picked me up, took me to some part of the country, you know, far from home. So I started from there, then went to under 17. We have over 400 players in the trials. In the, it's open screening, you know, and I think we are like, we are like 30 goalkeepers. So I made the fourth man after I made the list, then I got dropped. So after I got dropped, I went home. Then they said they would invite us for the senior national team that is under 20s. So unfortunately, Nigeria didn't qualify for the World Cup, so I didn't get the invitation. So I had to wait. Then there is when the under 20 camp opened, there's another trial. So we went and we were eight goalkeepers. I was the only goalkeeper from academy and they said they just need two. So I made this, I made the list, went to Wafu Cup in Togo. I didn't get many games there. Then came back, we were beaten in the final by Senegal. When they invited me again to the Nations Cup qualifiers, then I went, I played. They invited me to uh, Morocco, it's all African games, I went. Then the final step was the preparation for World Cup, you know. So we went to Germany, we played. It wasn't easy. I got dropped at the dime minute. I went home. Then Sarah said they want me to come. We were three that were supposed to come, but the, the two guys came to, for trials. For me, I signed from home. So I just came here, started to play, you know. In Africa, we have good goalkeepers. Also in Europe, there's good goalkeepers. Like in Africa, we have the likes of Bisset Inyema. He's the Nigerian national team goalkeeper. So he's very great. I was looking up to him when I was playing in academy, you know, and now it's no more playing. And then we have the likes of Andre Onana playing Ayas from Cameroon. He's a big inspiration to me. I want to play like him. I want to do more than him, you know. I always look up to him because people say we, we are like the same, we play the same, we do things the same, you know. But I'm looking forward to meet him someday. I'm looking forward to talk to him, if possible, play with him, you know, or more than him. 
So that's it. It happens many times, you know. I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm good or bad. I think it will say. But there was this competition we are playing back then in Hope. Uh, I think it was a big ransom of money. Some politicians like that set the tournament for politics stuff. And I think we were winning one nil. And I think in the I think 83 or something minutes, they got a penalty. I caused the penalty and I saved the penalty. <laughs> so it was a very big moment for me, you know. And also there was this time we we're playing in national team, you know, that I saved a penalty also. So it was also big for me because saving a penalty in major tournament is something big that people are counting on you, you know. So it was like the, uh, the happiness is priceless. I can't even say it was so fun. When I, after the match, I was working, you know, like this because I was the man of the game, you know. So it was really interesting, really. Okay, so guys, this is my own part. So I hope to see you in the game. I hope you can score more goals. I hope you can score and we'll meet in the game. So take care, guys.